Hiya love! Welcome to Theatre Review number three. Uh, we're going to be talking about Wise Children, adapted by Emma Rice. So, Wise Children is available to watch on BBC iPlayer. Uh, the adaptation and direction is by Emma Rice and it's brought to you by her theatre company, Wise Children, ironically. Um, now, I watched this a couple of days ago and I must admit, I don't really have all that much to say about it other than I loved it. I thought it was a fantastic production. I thought it was very imaginative. It was very truthful. There was a lot of it that was quite almost borderline absurdist, but I loved it nonetheless. I thought it worked tremendously well. The story is about Dora and Nora Chance, twin sisters uh, that were sort of abandoned at birth. Um, they are brought up south of the river um, in London. Um, and it's sort of, it's a story about them becoming showgirls basically. I actually found uh, a brief description of the show on the Wise Children production company's website so I'm going to read that to you if I may. A big bawdy tangle of theatrical joy and heartbreak, Wise Children is a celebration of show business, family, forgiveness and hope. Expect showgirls and Shakespeare, sex and scandal, music, mischief and mistaken identity and butterflies by the thousand. Now, I love it all apart from the bit about butterflies because I'm scared of them. So the play is originally by Angela Carter and I really like the style of writing. I think it's very playful. Uh, it's very... Uh, it's very honest as well. I think it's very relevant now in terms of classism in in the arts and just in general. Like I said, there's there's very little that I can say other than how much I enjoyed it. I think Emma Rice did a fantastic job of adapting it for a modern stage. The production that is available on iPlayer is um is the one from York Theatre Royal. Um and at first I was kind of like, is this stage too small for this production? Because, you know, it's about showgirls. There's a lot of people in the cast. But actually, I think it worked. They were quite creative in how they used the space. Um, there was a lot of movement involved. And a large majority of the story was told just with the use of movement. And so... That for me is something that I really enjoy because I'm quite a visual person. I learn visually um, and I connect with things visually as well. So seeing that and seeing how they really took on these characters through physicality um, and multi-rolled with physicality being a main factor of how they sort of did that was brilliant. One of the standout performances for me was uh, Katie Owen who takes on the role of grandma and uh, one of the twins biological father's unbiological daughters you just need to watch it basically um she as as the grandma she is so ballsy with that character she is so fearless and i think she's she's taken it on in such a way that you truly believe every word that she says um the accent the physicality the way she she understands the character's role within this play and the comedic timing of of it um yeah very very witty very funny loved 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 her part the design was quite simple, um, costumes were great, you know, the use of props and things like that. Um, there were a few standout costumes for the two twins, which I loved. Um, but generally speaking, I think it was simple because the amount of people you have in that ensemble and that are constantly multi-rolling, it kind of puts the emphasis on them, on on their use of of technique of skill and it really showcases them in the best sort of way if you strip it back um you know with a simple design yeah really loved the direction emma rice uh did a fantastic job 
I think the other thing that I really, really loved was throughout the show, you have three different actors playing the two twins, Dora and Nora, at different times. And come the end of the play, you have three char three actors for those two characters. And so it's it's a really nice thing of, you know, what would Dora's younger self think of the current situation? You know, it's that thing of that child in her and both of them is ever present. That young adult in both of them is ever present. Um, and I think just having those three actors for each character on the stage come the end of the show was a really beautiful way of showing life and you know showing how we how we grow up and we learn from experiences and but we we still have that sort of innocence um in in many ways i thought that was really really lovely i literally cannot recommend it enough i i thought it was fantastic and it is available on iplayer for the next 28 days so you've got quite a while to watch it the link to it is below so you can check it out um yeah I, I honestly just go and watch it this was one of the suggestions that i received uh from one of my followers and i can't thank you enough i will be also watching a lot of your other suggestions for online theatre and thank you so much by the way i'm i'm so chuffed that i've now got like a list of shows to work through if you liked this video and you would like to see more please like and subscribe to my channel but generally i hope you have a fantastic day and i will speak to you very soon Mwah. bye